Nelson Mandela was born on the 18th of July, 1918, and had a normal rural upbringing. He went on to study law, and at 21, moved to Johannesburg, and became acutely aware of the problems within South Africa. Mandela became a member of the African National Congress, which was engaged in resistance against the National Party's apartheid policies, which was a system of racial segregation. This, in reality, meant that under apartheid, black South Africans were governed by different laws to those of white South Africans. There is room for all the various races in this country. The government also attempted to drive them into designated homelands and strip them of their South African citizenship, which meant they could not vote. The government responded to a series of popular uprising and protests with police brutality, detentions without trial, torture, censorship, and the banning of political opposition. In 1964, Nelson Mandela was sentenced to life imprisonment for sabotage and for plotting to overthrow the apartheid government. He refused to compromise his political position to gain early release and became a symbol of resistance as the anti-apartheid movement gathered strength. In 1988, the Nelson Mandela Tribute Concert at Wembley helped to bring the evils of apartheid to the consciousness of almost a billion people worldwide. In 1990, Nelson Mandela was freed. And he continued the work he had started over four decades earlier. The march towards freedom and justice is irreversible. In 1991, he became president of the ANC. And in 1994, became president of South Africa after the first all-race elections. Nelson Mandela has continued to be one of the most important and inspirational leaders of our time. After spending 27 years in prison, and despite the crimes committed against the South African people by the apartheid regime, Mandela encourages forgiveness and reconciliation. In 2003, Mr. Mandela set up his charity. Four double six. Six, four. Its focus is HIV prevention, and alongside his other charities, the fight continues to galvanize the world against disease and the social ills that afflict nations everywhere. The solution is in our hands. <laughs>